Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I was always told I had a voice radio, so today, we've got a bunch of good news to be talking about. We've got a couple of promos to talk about, but first, we have got some truly awesome new Pokemon products to talk about. And let's face it, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start with probably the coolest news of the week. We are getting a limited edition... Pokemon Switch. That's right, an actual Pokemon themed Switch. Please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I don't think we've had a themed Switch yet. Sure, we've had themed Pro Controllers, for argument's sake, and we've had themed Joy-Con, but I don't think we've had a themed Switch. Well, we're getting one for Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. And what's truly awesome it's not Japan only. We're actually getting it outside of Japan. And even the dock is themed here. You can see in this image that on the dock you have Pikachu and Eevee just casually lying there being like, hey, want to play some video games? The Switch as a whole on the back of it, because obviously the front is just a screen, you do have all kinds of silhouettes of Pokemon there, which is just absolutely wonderful i mean it's going to make you terrified to take this out of the house and out in public for fear of losing it well that's between you and you to be perfectly honest with you i would be terrified of losing it but if there's any chance that i can actually get one of these i think it's probably going to have to happen and then we get a couple of joy con that are of course themed after pokemon we've clearly got an eevee one and we've got a Pikachu one. New Joy-Cons are nothing particularly different or special. We've had different colored Joy-Cons for a whole bunch of different things over the past year and a half. But I do not remember seeing a proper themed Switch before. And I don't think they could have picked a better one to use. It's beautiful. I love it. And I want one. One thing, and I don't believe this has been 100% confirmed, but certainly it looks like, judging from their Twitter, that you're not going to be able to just buy one of these Switches. You're going to have to buy a pack, which includes the Switch, and the game, and a Joy-Con. By which I mean the special Pokeball Plus Joy-Con which I think is going to retail for about $400. So it's not going to be the cheapest thing ever. And yes, you've got to buy all of them. But look, firstly, these are amazing. Secondly, once they sell out, the value of these probably will increase. Please don't be that scumbag that buys multiples of these just so they can sell them on for a lot more money. That's not cool. No one likes those people. But if you do want one of these for yourself... I would suggest picking one up sooner rather than later. Probably the coolest merch of the past week, but not the weirdest, because you see, I also follow the Japanese Pokemon account on Twitter, and they are releasing a life-size Zera Aura plush. A life-size Zera Aura plush. Such a weird thing, I had to say it twice. You can see from the image on the screen... This is how big it is in comparison to a child. It is bigger than the child. Quite significantly bigger than the child. It's huge. According to this image that we see on the Japanese website, it is 150 centimeters tall. That's five foot. 30 centimetres and a foot, 150 centimetres. That is a five foot tall Zera Aura. It is retailing for about 60,000 yen, which comes out at about £410 or $540. That is a crazy expensive plush. But you know what? It's a life-size Zera Aura. Now, they are made to order, and they're clearly going to be super exclusive. Thing is, trying to get one of these outside of Japan is going to be an absolute nightmare. You're not going to be able to put this in your luggage. You'll have to buy a seat on the plane. Or maybe you can take it on as hand luggage and put it in an overhead compartment. But it's five foot tall. That is bigger than your average piece of luggage. And it's going to be expensive. Now, 
I've told you guys before that when the baby Daisy was born, a very good friend of mine brought a whale lord back from Japan that is bigger than the baby Daisy. And they managed to squeeze it into their luggage. Now, I paid the equivalent of about £30 for this. But if you were to buy it on a website that imports from Japan, you would literally pay double that. Plus, you'd have to spend a whole bunch of money on postage to actually get it over here. So given that, even if you can find websites in the US, Europe, etc. that are selling the Zero Aura, you can expect to be paying about double the RRP, which is about $1,000. But it's a 5 foot Zero Aura. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? Um, yeah. As much as I love one of these, I, I, I don't think it's on the cards. And what's really annoying is, right, there's going to be people out there that love Zero Aura and for whom Zero Aura is their favorite Pokemon, and they'll probably never have one of these. Hey ho. In more pedestrian news, the website Pokebeach.com has revealed the second of the free pack blister promos from the upcoming Lost Thunder set. We did show you the other day from the lovely immunity over on Twitter that we're going to be getting a Lolan Executor. Well, Poker Beach have confirmed that the second free pack blister promo is way better. It's Altaria. And it's good. Now, the Altaria is the one that's got the same ability as the old Altaria, in that it allows your Dragon Pokemon to do an extra 20 damage. To put it simply, people are expecting this Altaria to be good. This Altaria is getting quite a lot of hype, and certainly people are talking about playing it with the new Drampa to accelerate a bit of energy round, etc. Certainly, if you're playing a Dragon-focused deck, this is going to be a really good card to consider. Some people have considered playing it with Garchomp, which is a deck that I'm quite fond of, being a Garchomp fan. I can't sit here and tell you whether it will or won't be good, but I can tell you that as a general rule, doing extra damage is good. We've seen Choice Band be amazing lately, and then let's not forget all of the times we've used stuff in the past, like Crobat G or Plus Power or things of that nature. So it's fair to say that this is probably going to end up being a fairly good card. And look, people like promos. People like having the promo version of these cards. So that's kind of cool. On the one hand, it's just another example of Pokemon giving us really good promo cards which was something we were asking for a few years ago when the promo cards were not as good, and something about which we should all be rather happy. But also, it means that there is a huge disparity between these single blister promos, these three-pack blister promos, because honestly, a Alolan Executor is fine. It is nothing compared to how good this Altaria is. So, and let's not forget that generally speaking, you're probably going to be wanting two to four of these Altaria. Some of the bear in mind that if you want these, I would get them when you see them. Because there is every possibility you're going to end up going into shops. And you'll find that, oh, they've got loads of the Alolan Executor. Wait a second, where have all the Altaria gone? Yeah, they've been bought because they're great. And the final piece of news for this video, Tina Michi over on Facebook last night did reveal that Copycat is going to be the new Regionals promo. And, I mean, to be perfectly honest, right, this is good because Copycat's a good card. And I did a video about the post-rotation supporter cards. I'll pop a link in the description. But essentially, everybody's playing Cynthia, because Cynthia is the best option. And then you've got Judge, which is better as disruption than draw. We've got Tate and Liza, which on the upside can be a switch. On the downside, it's not as good as Cynthia, so people don't like it as much. And then we've got Copycat. I've long been a fan of playing Tate and Liza over Copycat. The list that we've looked at in Japan lately, and I'll try and remember to pop links to these in the description as well, not playing Copycat, they've been playing Tate and Liza. One of them played Tate and Liza, the other one really just played Lily instead. 
Copycat can be abused. It lets you shuffle your hand into your deck and draw a number of cards equal to your opponent's hand size. So your opponent can have a small hand size and take advantage of you relying on copycat. This happened last time it was legal in the Heart Gold Soul Silver era. It will happen again. I don't think copycat is going to be as good as a lot of people think it's going to be. And I don't think it's going to see as much play or success as a lot of people do. But the fact of the matter is, it's a good card. Once again, another example of good promos, yay, go Pokemon, etc. But if you want to be playing Copycat, and a lot of you will, this is a good version to have. It's a regionals promo. Although, quick shout out to Blaine, who's been entirely covered by the regionals badge. That's a little bit sad for Blaine. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure I'll be back in a few days with some more Pokemon news. But for now, I want to hear your reactions to these stories. Are you excited by these promos like I am? But more importantly, are you going to get one of these Pokemon Switches? Do you think they're cool, but you just won't be able to afford one? That's pretty much where I fall down. Or are you just going to go out of your way to buy one because they're that gosh darn good? Do let me know in the comment section. Go nuts, be nice, and tell me what you think about that Zera Aura. Tell me if you'd like some other life-size plushies. I would love a life-size Waylord plushie. And yes, I know how big Waylord is in real life. Obviously, quotation marks there. And I don't even care. Go nuts, ladies and gentlemen, but do remember the rule. Be nice. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all of that, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing, as always, is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching... PTCG Radio.